Everything is presence. Everything. This entire world. Thoughts. Everything that takes place is just an open presence appearing as all these different things. That's all it is. This open presence dances. And objects seem to be appearing. The word appearing means to step in, to walk into the scene. So everything appears and comes in. What you seek is home and love and light. And you already are these things. Stop in stillness and just know this. That's all that's needed. Your job is not to come here and work and make money and build and change things. Your job is to come here and marinate in the light that you are by simply stopping and just being this complete open presence of light. You are a complete open presence of light, whole and perfect. Even if you have a past in your life where things have gone crazy and weird and strange, all of those things that took place were and are expressions of the field of energy. That's all they are. They just came up, they appeared, and when they're being looked at by you, you are not there. Nothing ever happened to you. You were never touched by them. Now, how do we know that? Let's explore. Go sit under a tree for an hour. And then I will come up to you and I will touch you on the shoulder and I will say, who are you? And your answer will not be, I'm Sam sitting under a tree. No, your answer will be, I am this, peace, grace. And now sitting here now, go back into a memory of something that happened to you. And try to find a separate you that's there. There's just a peace that's there. A grace. There is love there. And what is love touching? And what is the experience? It is love too. Everything has been love touching love. Grace touching grace. It has, it has always been this and always will be this. We are so amazing and so beautiful that we dare not look at it. Because in order to look at it, we have to die to the limitations that we are. And when you die to your limitations, there becomes a death of you. But then, after that, you're still there, walking around, free and liberated. And you're not this individual. So we are born and we go through life and we watch television and movies and read books and we think we're these individuals. And then we think we are immersed in a play that we have to do things. And it's painful. And we have pain because we're not doing these things. The pain that we have is the pain of living a limited being. It's the pain of living this limited version of ourselves. It's painful being Michael. There's a lot of stories, but 
being truth, being an open presence of love, being a field of energy, being light, being who we are, and just resting in this being is not painful. And why is that? Because that's truly who we are. So it's time. Now is the time to stop, to rest, and to return, and to let go of these limitations and be a being of light. Now the term light can mean, well, it can mean like light like this, which is beautiful and pretty, but that's an idea, that's a concept. Lightness means the mind is light, it's open. Do you ever look at the blue sky and then just say to yourself, that sky is completely the mind. And then you look at the sky and it keeps coming and coming and coming to you and you find yourself looking out at the sky as the sky. This is who you are. And you know this. There's just this here. Just this appearing as everything. Just this appearing as beauty, as everything. So with all the things happening in the world right now, and all of them are stories, they're just stories. They will come, they will dance, and they will go. And what they will never touch is the unbounded, beloved, which is what you are. They will never touch the true essence of who you are. You'll go back to that tree after watching all of this, reading all of it, talking to friends about all the stuff that's going on in the world. And you'll go back to that tree with money in your pockets or an empty stomach because you haven't eaten for three days. And you'll sit under that tree and you'll sit there for an hour, and I'll come back to you, and I'll tap you on the shoulder, and I'll say, who are you? What is here? And you'll have the same answer. Peace. Grace. And I'll say, does this ever die? No. Is it ever born? No. What is this then? And you'll answer me, and you'll say, it's the endless home that I have always been. So it's time now, the timeless time of now, to fall into and to be the most powerful person you can possibly be. And by being the most powerful person you can possibly be, you basically let go of being a person. You let go of being you. You let go of being a character and a story. And you let go of trying to do things and change, th change things. And you just simply stop. And you allow the divine presence and light, the peace and the silence, and the beauty. You allow that to be completely who you are. And then after you sit with that, and it can be just a second, a moment, an hour, after that greets you, because it will, it'll come up to greet you, it's been there the entire time, it's waiting for you now. Once this comes up to greet you, then you then walk through this world, and you become the simple light expressing and moving within itself as everything. And that is pure, true living. And you'll feel it, and you'll know it, and you'll be living this real truth. Thank you.